<laughs> oh, bless these kids. They're running a mutt today. It's really, really windy out today. And, um, yeah, I've decided that they might as well have the day off school. I mean, education is important, but it's no good if you get dogged on the head with a tree. All right. Hello. Welcome back. All right. Welcome to my impossible savoury pie. So a little while ago, we did an impossible pie that was a dessert one. And now we're going to do a yummy savoury one. All right. So it's not very many ingredients. Heaps of fun to make. Really, really easy. Really yummy. So let's do this. First thing we do is preheat our oven to 160 degrees Celsius. What we're going to need is three spring onions. We're going to need enough parsley to chop up for two tablespoons of parsley. We need three eggs. Now, you're supposed to have 130 grams of corn kernels out of the can strained, but I don't have any. So I'm using half a cup, I'm guessing is, a, is 130 grams, a heap half a cup of frozen ones, and I'm just going to let them thaw out and hope that'll work. All right, now you need four rushes of bacon tops I'm using. The bacon tops, I've got four of them. If you haven't got the bacon tops and you've got the full length ones, just use two. All right, and I've got a little bit of um, virgin spray to spray our little container with. But if you haven't got that, you can just use a couple of drops of oil and rub it in. We need one cup. Now you're supposed to use cheddar cheese. <clears throat> but cheddar cheese is really expensive. I'll oh, just get it out and show you. So I always thought cheddar cheese was orange, but apparently it's not. So yeah, cheddar cheese is um, is uh, reasonably expensive, right? So I'm making a, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, like a creamy uh, potato bake coming up in the next couple of days. And I want to save it for that. But yeah, so at the IGA, I managed to find one only out of all of them. I mean, it's an imported thing with jigs, of course. Um, cheddar. So yeah, if you look, you, you will find it there somewhere. All right, so we need 125 grams, which equals one cup. But today I'm using good old coon because that's what I've got. And I'm not being racist there. That's what the bloody cheese is called. It's called coon cheese. And it's an Australian iconic cheese. And we've had it for a long time. Never know what it stands for. Okay, uh, we're going to need some milk and we're going to need some plain flour. Now, I'm using one of these uh, flan dish, I think you call them. Uh, one of these today, alright, so grab yourselves one of these ones, and like I said, I'm going to spray it with a bit of oil, but you can rub a little bit on if you don't have the spray. Alright, so I'll spray that first, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up the spring onions really fine, and we're going to chop up two tablespoons of parsley. Now we've got our greens all chopped up, we're going to do our bacon. So I've chopped the bacon up nice and small pieces. Okay, and this is a reasonably small frying pan. So what we're going to do is fry it up and then set it aside. Now, if you can't get bacon, you might want to use roughly a big handful like that chopped up of ham. Um, you wouldn't fry it up, you'd throw it in after when we're throwing everything in. Um, now, you could use a little bit of chicken as long as it's cut up nice and small and it's roughly that amount, you could use chicken. Um, and believe it or not, because it's corn and cheese and all the yummy stuff anyway, another way to make one is tuna. It's beautiful with tuna too. But if you're going to use tuna, make sure you strain it really, really well. You do not want any tuna juice in there at all, alright? So really squeeze that can out and just use roughly the same amount, big ass handful. Now our bacon's cooled down, the next thing we want to do is get our three eggs and just whisk them up in the bowl, in like just a normal bowl. Alright, set them aside for a sec. Grab a bigger bowl. First thing we want to do make sure balls anyway, is put a third of a cup of plain flour in there. Now we put one and a half cups of milk in there. And then we get a whisk and we whisk it really well. Okay, now it's mixed well and we've got no lumps in it. Grab our egg and slowly whisk our egg in. Oh, come on, yum, mate. <laughs> okay, our two tablespoons of parsley. I'm going to leave a little bit of parsley to scatter over the top when we finish. Our spring onion. Throw our corn in. Our bacon. And our cheese in. Oh my god, yummy. Oh, good to get into you. Alright, mix that in really well. Optional is a little, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pe pepper. Totally optional. Okay, now we get our flan dish and we pour our goodness in. Now, I'm just going to go around as I do it. 
so the stuff goes if it makes sense all the way around all right once you put it all in there we're just going to even it out a bit Now, if we have done this properly, when it comes out, it is going to come out with like a pastry base and around the sides and this yummy filling. Oh, look, it's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to stick it in the oven, our preheated oven, and we're going to cook it for up to an hour. Now, I'm using an electric oven, so I'll tell you when, when we're finished exactly how long it took me. Oh, yummy. Oh, I can't wait. Boom! <laughs> Check it out, mate! It smells awesome in here. Alright, that I left that in there for exactly one hour and five minutes. Sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just leave it sit here for five to cool down just a little bit. And then we're gonna try and elegantly elegantly cut a slice. See if I can't even say it, I'm probably not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> well thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have yourselves an awesome day. Oh yeah. Now just remember, this is not pastry, all right? We're doing an impossible here. But it tastes, it, look, there's, I can't even describe it. They're so yummy. All right, see if I can get off of there. All right, the first piece is probably gonna be a pig to get out. But we'll give it a crack. Excuse my fingers. Never use the right knives or the right anything. But uh, right, told you it probably wasn't gonna be elegant. Oh, it's so freaking hot still. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on, check that out. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> right, I thought because it's an impossible pie, I thought I should probably show you the the pastry like do. Alright, so see how it comes out. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love you all. Bye.